Hello and welcome, my name is Jocelyn and today we are doing Shop My Stash for the month of May. If you are unfamiliar with what Shop My Stash is, let me give you a little rundown before we jump into it. Essentially, Shop My Stash is where I go through my entire makeup collection and pull things out to focus on and use for the following month. This ensures that I don't neglect products in my collection that I have eyes on, everything that I own. There's a lot of sections in my collection that aren't that big that I have a pretty modest modest amount of products in and there's other sections where I have some might say too many products such as eyeshadows and lipstick for example. I got a lot of those two things. Shop my stash basically just means that I am circulating through my collection frequently. I do have quite a few project pans going on right now which means I'm working through older products in my collection and trying to either hit pan on them or use them up. So because of that there are definitely going to be some sections that I won't be pulling anything new from because again I'm trying to work really hard at using up something or hitting pan on something. Thing. Also, the VIB sale just happened and I have received all of my packages. I will be pulling in some of those things. I do have a haul video up on my channel, so if you want to see everything that I picked up during the Spring Sephora VIB sale, I will link that down below so you can check it out. I will be pulling some of those new fun items into my makeup basket for the month of May to try out, test out. I don't like returning things, but if I have to return something, I only have a certain amount of time to do so. Particularly Particularly a foundation, spoiler alert, I have one foundation to try out that I just picked up and I wanted to get a jump on that. Foundation is one of the few things that I do return if I just really don't like it. In my lifetime, I have maybe returned two foundations, so not that many. It doesn't happen very often, but just in case this is a foundation that really doesn't work out for me at all, I would like the opportunity to return it and exchange it for a different foundation. So that's probably enough rambling on my part. You are here to see what makeup items I am going to be using for the month of May. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so speaking of foundations, we are starting in my foundation, concealer, primer, and powder drawer. I do have two powders and project pans, so I don't need to pull for any of those. Same with primer and concealer. I have concealers and primers in two project pans. I did pick up this Bare Minerals concealer in the most recent VIB sale, so... I could try this out. Oh man, I feel, okay, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this in to use a couple times. I do wanna focus on the concealers that are in my project pan, but same as with the foundation, I want to make sure that I don't absolutely hate this because again, if I do, I don't really wanna have to use it up eventually. So I am gonna pull this in to try out. Oh, I guess I can take it out of the box, can't I? This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the shade Fair. It comes in a standard concealer packaging with a doe foot applicator. Again, I haven't tried this yet, but I would like to get a couple tries out of it just to make sure that I don't absolutely hate it. <laughs> I do have one foundation in a project pan but it is a little bit too dark for me right now so I can't use it until I get a little bit more of a tan but this bad boy right here that you can see is still in a box is the foundation I was referring to earlier this is the one I just picked up in the recent VIB sale I have the concealers that partner with this this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea water foundation I have the Tarte aqua concealer and really, really love that, so I thought I would give this a try. Let me pull it out of the packaging, because again, we don't need the packaging anymore. I really, really like the bottle on this. I know that this isn't what's important, but I do really like the bottle on this. It's a nice glass material. It has a dropper type of applicator. One of my best friends used to love this. I don't know if she loves it still. I'll have to ask, but I really am excited to try this. I've been really into a more dewy, natural, hydrated, kind of look on my face as opposed to very matte foundations so I think this is going to deliver but again I want to make sure that it doesn't absolutely suck on my skin and so that's why I decided to pull this one in I don't think I'll pull anything else in right now I'll go ahead and just stick with that one foundation for now the one I just pulled in the 
one foundation in my project pan that I think I'll be able to start using in the next month. And then the two concealers that I've been using all over the face for days that I want a little more of a natural look. So that's gonna do it for this drawer. All right, so on to my highlighter blush bronzer face palette drawer. I have one new product in here. Can you guess what it is? If you guessed the Fenty highlighter right here, you would be correct. This is another thing that I picked up during the VIB sale. This is the only Fenty product I have. I used to have the foundation, used it up, absolutely love it, will for sure repurchase it someday, but I had never tried any of her other products before, but I have a couple friends who really, really like a lot of her products, including these highlighters right here. I don't know if they have this one specifically. I picked up the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal Duo, and I am so excited to try this. I don't think I've ever used any of the Fenty highlighters before, and I really like her brand, of course, and I really love the foundation, so I thought it was time to try something else. Let me open her up for you. This is what the inside looks like. Lightning Dust is the more bronzy, orangey side, and then Fire Crystal is the more pinky toned side. I am so excited to use these. I think that they are just so pretty. And I'm excited to finally have another Fenty product in my collection. I think that me and this bad boy right here are gonna get along really well. So I am pulling this in. I do have a couple highlighters and project pans. One of them is too dark for me right now. The other one I've been literally using for probably two months straight and haven't used anything else. So I need a little bit of a break from that one. I do love it. I'm not exactly sick of it, but I'm excited to try something else. So that's the only highlighter I'm going to pull in. I do want to pull a blush in and I think the one I want to bring in is this MAC blush. I haven't used this in such a long time and if I ever want to use it up I need to actually use it this is the warm soul baked I think a baked blush mineralized blush this is a very classic Mac product this is what it looks like I don't know if you'll really be able to see the sheen on there but it is a really beautiful peachy sheen blush that's oh it's it's a really pretty color and formula and it's been a really long time since I've pulled that in so we're gonna pull it in today I have an hourglass face palette that I still haven't used for the second month in a row and I, I really do want to use it so I'm gonna go ahead Ahead, I think and leave that in. Oh, hello, sir. I'm working through a bronzer right now. Oh my gosh You can see Felix in the reflection of this right here. Hey, hello, sir. How's it going? So I'm working through a bronzer right now, so I'm not gonna pull any bronzers in. I'm also working through a blush, hence why I only pulled the one blush in. And then I do have an hourglass face palette that I'm still trying to use and still have failed to use for the second month in a row. So I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for this drawer. There's a lot of these that I wanna pull for when the warmer weather hits, such as the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette right there, this Flower Beauty palette, and back here I have an ABH glow kit. So there's a lot of things I want to pull for when warmer weather hits. So for now, I think the Hourglass face palette will be fine. All right, so moving into the mess that is my palette drawer. Normally this is very cohesive and put together, but not right now. I mean, the big elephant in this drawer right now, this bad boy right here. I kind of cheated and put this back into my drawer, but I have been using this for the last week or so, and I've really been enjoying this. Again, this isn't technically something that I picked up during the VIB sale. I cashed in 2,500 Sephora points and got a $100 gift card to use to buy this right here. So I only paid $29 for this, which I think is pretty good. This is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This is what the inside looks like if you have not seen Seen it already. I have been really enjoying the looks that I've been coming up with. This has been really perfect for me for just everyday work, casual, easy to wear looks. Um, I have used most of these shades. I haven't used, I don't think, anything in this row or that blue, and I haven't used these two very deep gold shades, but all of the rest of the neutral shades in here I have worn because I've been at work all week and I've been playing around with it just to see what kind of easy to put together looks I can get and have really, really been enjoying this. So 
I do want to hold on to this and keep using it. I'd like to dip into some of these more fun duochrome bright shades right here to see what I can do and how much fun I can have with this palette. So definitely going to pull this in to get some more use out of. I am panning quite a few shadows right now, so that does make me a little bit hesitant to pull too many things in, but I definitely want to pull some more in. One that I'm thinking that I haven't used in a long time is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. It's been a really long time since I've pulled this in to use, and I really, really like this palette. Sure enough, it still smells really, really good, like peaches. I'm really excited to get some use out of it, and it feels very appropriate for May for some reason. It just feels like a good palette to pull in for this month. So that's two. So I think I'm going to bring in the ColourPop Kathleen Light Zodiac palette. I just, I feel like I need some more color. The palettes that I have currently sitting in my monthly makeup basket or the two that I just chose are very neutral. So I want something with a bit more color to it. So we've got some purpley pink shades in here. We have a fiery orange red shade and then we got these couple blues down here. So I think this is going to be a good addition to the palettes that I have pulled in already. Pretty excited about this. Okay, so that's going to do it for palettes. Let's move on to lip products and single shadows. All right, so I'm not going to pull my entire drawer out just to show you these two products that I'm pulling in. Excuse the cattail, sir. Excuse, no, don't chew on that. No. Oh my God. All right. So I'm not going to pull my entire drawer out of single shadows just to show you these two that weren't even in the drawer in the first place. These are the other two makeup items that I picked up during the VIB sale. These are both products by Kaja. They have this really cool iridescent shift to the packaging, but let me actually pull these out. These are sparkling eye pigments and one is in the shade magic. It is this really cool duo chrome purple color. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it through the packaging. I did swatch it in my VIB sale haul video, but this is a really cool shadow. So I'm going to bring that one in and I'm going to bring in the other one that I purchased. This is a teal color. This is in the shade cosmic. So this again is a very blue teal color. I don't know how well again you'll be able to see through the packaging what that color looks like, but it's a really pretty blue gel-ish pigment with gold glitter in it. So I'm going to bring both of those in to start. We'll go ahead and get rid of the boxes. All right, moving into this first drawer right here. In this drawer, I do have some single eyeshadows over here as well as some lip products. I do actually, I do think I'm going to bring in one of these. I think these are pressed pigments. Yeah, pressed pigments by Morphe. These two right here shattered, actually my cat shattered them, big surprise, a while back. Um, but I did manage to kind of like push them into place. Who knows how stable they're going to be? Probably not. I can already see them kind of shattering again inside of there, but I am, I think, I think I'll probably just bring in both of these. So both of these are the ones that shattered. If they just give me too many issues, I will probably just throw them away, but I did try and repress them a bit. And I have the shade The Afterglow as well as Coffee and Drama. Both of them are really cool shades. Oh, man, this one's already starting to fall apart. So ugh, how annoying, but we'll give it a try. We'll see how well they work. So we're going to bring those two in and then back to this right here. I'm going to go ahead and bring in this NARS Audacious Lipstick. This is in the shade Audrey. It is a really, really pretty shade. Look at that. I'll go ahead and give it a little swatch right here. It's a really cool, rich berry color. I really do like this shade. So we're going to go ahead and bring that one in. It's been a quite a while since I've used that. And I actually think that that's going to be it for this drawer. I don't want to pull in too many lip products. I do have quite a few lip products in my project pans right now, so we're going to be a little light with lip products. All right, next we have most of my liquid lipsticks. So we have some Stila, ColourPop. We have a Kylie right here, some Ofra, more mini, ColourPop, Huda Beauty, some more Ofras up here. I think I'm going to pull in Firenze. This is a Stila liquid lipstick. It's a nice warm toned nude color, so we'll bring that one in. I think I'll also bring in this blotted lip. This is a ColourPop blotted lip in the shade Soda Pop. From what I remember, it's been a while since I've used this, but I really like that formula and that color, so we'll bring that one in. And then I think, is that going to do it? Yeah, I think that's going to do it for this drawer. 
Ooh, something else that I haven't really used but I did purchase a while back is this Kaja lipstick. This is one of their Cushy Vibe lip products in the shade Silk Robe. It's kind of like a lip stain. I want to say this has more, I mean it's a little bit darker, but this has a bit more of a, like a satin formula. This is a really nice muted kind of rose color. So we're going to go ahead and bring that one in. Ooh, something else that I was just sitting on top of my drawers over there. I am going to bring in this Ofra liquid lipstick. This is a bright red color with I think an orange-ish undertone to it. This is in the shade Vermilion. It's this really brilliant red. I want to try this and see if it's something that I like, something that I'll wear. So we'll see. I have no idea what kind of eye looks to go with this. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments below. So I'm going to pull this in and see if it's something that is wearable for my tastes and my preferences. And I actually don't have anything else to pull from the last two drawers. So we are going to go ahead and fill up my beauty box and then I will show you what the end result looks like. All right. So here we have my beauty box in all of its glory. So it is pretty filled to the brim right now. I really like the way that it looks. So if we start up here in the first drawer, you can see all of the lip products that we chose as well as a couple rollovers from last month as well as some Project Pan lip products. And then we have the eyeshadows that we pulled in back here. And then some, again, rollovers from last month as well as two Project Pan eyeshadows. So that is the first drawer. Next drawer down, we have some more special eye products as well as some miscellaneous tools as well as everyday products like mascara, eye primer, and brow gel. So we have special eye stuff over here. So we have all of my Zodiac pigments, my Kaja pigments, a Tarte Chrome Pot, an Hourglass Scattered Light Eyeshadow, and then the two Kaja shadows that I just recently purchased and we pulled in to use for this next month. They actually fit very nicely right here. I was pretty proud of the way that this worked out. This is probably one of my favorite sections in my whole makeup collection. I love just nifty, fun little eyeshadow formulas and products. So that turned out really good. Moving down we have my uh, there's three concealers in here actually these two are in a project pan actually technically it's just this one right now because there's less in here and then once I use that up this will be my second goal but I'm kind of using them both in conjunction with one another this primer is in a project pan and then this is going to be in a project I mean technically it's in a project pan but I can't use it yet because it's too dark but these two are the ones that we just pulled in so we have the bare minerals concealer and the Tarte foundation very excited to start using both of those and then over here we have the two new products that we pulled in so the Fenty highlighter and the Mac blush and then a Tarte blush that's in a project pan and a ColourPop highlighter that is also in a project pan I told you I've got a lot of stuff in a lot of project pans so we're gonna be seeing a lot of that but, but there's only one more drawer left so the last drawer I usually have a divider in here actually I've still got it right here but I pulled that out to move some more stuff down here because a lot of these things were up in this drawer but I pulled in a couple too many things and they don't really fit as well. So I pulled the drawer out. And I'm not too mad about it. I do have my two sprays over here. This is in a project pan. This is in a project pan. This is in a project pan. And this is in a project pan. Holy moly. Yep. So all of those are in project pans. So I thought I would just kind of leave them here and work through them. So I have a highlighter, a bronzer, and then two powders. So this is what this last drawer looks like. Let me show you how the palette organizer came together. All right, so here is my palette organizer. I really love the way that this always looks. It just always looks fun and exciting. So I have Project Pan, the Sweet Peach palette that we just pulled in, Project Pan, the ColourPop palette we just brought in. This little Z palette holds some single shadows, but I do need to switch them out for new ones. Back here we have a palette that also is in a project pan and my Lethal Cosmetics palette. And then this has a project pan item in it, the Hourglass palette that I was talking about earlier. And then of course the Natasha Denona Gold palette way back here, which I try and keep it so that I can see them all. So I put the shortest ones here and the tallest ones up in the back and that way I can see everything. So I really like the way that this turned out. It is pretty full. There you go. 
that is how everything came together. All right, and those are all of the goodies that I will be using throughout the month of May. I am very excited. There are a lot of new fun things for me to try out. I really wanna do a palette bingo this month or palette roulette is sometimes what I call it. So if you have a specific palette that you would like to see me use in a palette bingo, please let me know down in the comments below because I would love to accommodate you. And if there's anything else that you've seen in this video that you would like to see me use in some kind of tutorial or get ready with me, also let me know that down in the comments below and I will, again, do my best to accommodate. If you like Shot My Stash videos or you just liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe for more content from me, don't forget to do so before you go. All buttons are down below. And I think that's everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.